Hi, it's Librarian Shari coming to you from the story time room for another episode of Presents in Print. I'm going to take off my mask. Door is closed. Not near anybody, so I can take it off safely. Welcome to Presents in Print. This episode, we're going to talk about, as you can see in my scrolly, just the facts. We're going to talk about fabulous, fabulous nonfiction for your gift giving to all of those great children in your lives. And I'm going to go up through about 12 years old in this nonfiction episode. So without any further ado, let's get started. We're going to start. I get so many crusts here at the library for all kinds of science books, but especially space, stars, and planets. I want to tell you about this specific book, The Stars, by Cindy Crane. And I just love this series. It's the rookie read about science. They're all various authors, but this is a volume specifically on stars. The pictures are fantastic. It's moderately text. It's not too text heavy. It's really perfect for sharing with a younger child or for second, uh, older second, later in second grade, third, fourth. Really a great series to introduce them to science. There's tons of volumes. You can buy these in box sets. And how cool to pair them with a telescope a guide on um, the constellations, which I'm going to talk about for older kids in a minute, a map of the solar system, etc. There's so many things you can pair with. And you can do a box set of this rookie read about science and pair with all kinds of, you know, a, a microscope, a model of the human body, I mean, because there's all kinds of topics in the science arena from this rookie read about science. It's been around a long time, but they've updated it, and it is fantastic. For a little bit older kids, so we're talking fifth, fourth, fifth, maybe even into sixth. This is Nate Ball from PBS. I've not seen this show, but it sounds fun. This is Let's Investigate with Nate. There's many, again, many, many topics. I chose this one on the solar system. It has almost like a cartoony feel, which kids love. And it explains a lot of topics about the solar system. You could do several, again, as a book of a bundle. And you can, again, put in things like telescopes, glow in the dark stars, and so much more. And you could get more than one volume. And this is a, a great series. Definitely check out the series on PBS. I'm assuming it's still on because it's a pretty new series. Because um, it looks super fun. I've not seen it, like I said, but super fun. All right, so moving from space. Oh, I forgot to put up the scrolly for that one. Let's investigate with Nate. All right. Moving from let's investigate with Nate to seeing stars. A complete guide to 88 constellations. This is going to be for your older stargazers. And it's going to tell them about all those constellations in the sky. Really perfect to pair with a more advanced telescope. Uh, super fun. And, you know, maybe a promise of going to a um, planetarium, right? So lots of cool things you could pair with this. And they're set. The pictures here are really cool. And so many kids are into sky stargazing. And I would pin this right. Definitely at the older end, maybe even in the middle school for this stargazing guy. Now we're going to leave the stars and space behind, and we're going to talk about drawing. Kids love to draw. I can't tell you how many kids come to me. Miss Shari, Miss Shari, can you tell me about some great drawing books? And I want to tell you about Abdo Press, a fantastic press. I know we're not supposed to advertise, but Abdo is great. And they do this fabulous series, and it's Big Buddy's first drawing books. 
And I've got a volume on dogs. Here's a volume on people. Here's a volume on dinosaurs. And there's many, many, many more. So you could definitely do a package of these, bundle of these along. Maybe do a nice bag with some drawing books, some colored pencils, some nice paper, some erasers, all kinds of drawing supplies. This is a wonderful series for your new starting out artists. Let me open up here. Put these on my lap. Show you very step-by-step. Step. I've got the dinosaur one here, and it really guides them step-by-step step through a variety of dinosaurs. So really good for your, your, your starting out artists. Now, as they get more confident, you've got older artists, maybe fourth, fifth, even again in the middle school and even high school for these. Well, I'm not really hitting the teenagers in my in my show, but these really would work for teenagers. These books have been around forever and they've updated them. And they're the Draw 50 books by Lee Ames. I chose the Draw 50 Airplanes, Aircraft, and Spacecraft, and the Draw 50 Cats. They have Draw 50 Animals, Draw 50 Cars, Draw 50 People. I mean, it goes on and on and on. You can absolutely bundle these, again, with drawing supplies, erasers, pencils, um, paints even. You know, what an awesome present for your budding artists, for your older budding artists. All right, well, we're moving from drawing to animals. Kids love animals. And they, they really do love animals. And this is a wonderful series. It's My First Animal Kingdom Encyclopedias. This is, and I'm sure there's various authors, but I chose this volume on mammals by Lisa J. Amstutz. And these are amazing, just awesome. Look, lots of facts. Beautiful. And again, maybe pair this with a stuffed animal of their favorite animal or promising a trip to a zoo in the in the better weather, right? This is a wonderful, again, you could do a, a whole series. There's several volumes here. And just kids love photographs and they love facts. And this has and I would say all the way up to fifth grade for these. Really a lot of fun and a great discussion starter, right? You could pair this with an animal puzzle. So many things, so many, so many ideas. An animal craft kit. You could make their own animal. Uh, so much. For a little bit younger, really, this is this could go even all the way down to preschool, but it really is aimed at your upper elementary, ideally. This second one is more for your younger audience. This is A Mammal is an Animal by Lizzie Rockwell. How cute to pair this with a stuffed elephant or a whole zoo of stuffed animals, right? And this talks in very simple terms about what a mammal is. Well, a mammal, a dog is a mammal, right? A cow is a mammal, and they even show you here how a baby cow is born. So great discussion starter. Again, pair this with a promised trip to a farm or the zoo. You know, so awesome. Or, you know, watch a, watch a video about animals and share this, right? So awesome, awesome gift and awesome springboard to do things with that young person in your life. And that's A Mammal is an Animal by Lizzie Rockwell. All right, moving on to my very, my encyclopedia, very important. So Dorleen Kinnersley is a press. You can probably, again, I'm not supposed to be advertising, but they have their own website, but you can go to any books or any of the books I'm sharing with you today, I looked up and they're all available for purchase online. Or if you go in person, I'm sure you can order them if they're not at your favorite bookstore. And this 
introducing little people to encyclopedias, right? They're so used to the internet, even really young. But these are encyclopedias with a little bit of everything. These, these encyclopedias are specific. This is very important animals. This is very important dinosaurs. There's very important stuff. There's very important sports. Tons and tons. Super cool to get them a couple of these. And again, pair them with puzzles. Pair them with model kits. Pair them with stuffies. So many things you can do. And in using encyclopedias, it's a skill that kids are not getting. And this is a great way to introduce them to the encyclopedia concept. And again, beautiful pictures and not a ton of text. So easy way for them to learn about reference, what us librarians call reference books, books with a lot on a general topic. All right, really great gift. The Smithsonian Lab Books, these are also Darlene Kinnersley, a great press. And these, these books are so popular that whoever checked them out, look what they did. They posted noted because there's so many great projects in here. This one is the Maker Lab Outdoors. This one is the Maker Lab 28 Cool Projects. Build, invent, create, discover. The maker movement is so huge now, right? Making things, doing it yourself. And uh, how cool. So Maker Lab, Maker Lab outside. And then there's the STEM, right? Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Lab. And you could easily get all three of these and package them with some of the supplies you need to make these things. And then make a date to make some of them with your young person, whether it's your niece, your nephew, a neighbor child, any child you're close with. What a fun book. And I would say these are for older kids, probably fourth, fifth, maybe even through middle school. Finally, oh, my favorite. You already know I love food. So I it would be a miss, or I would be remiss, not to talk about cookbooks. And I could do an entire hour episode on the great kids' cookbooks that are out there. There are so, 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 so many. But I'm just going to hit a couple. There we go. Again, Darlene Kennersley, they are fantastic. This is Annabelle Carmel. Annabelle Carmel is a fantastic children's cookbook author. She does a bunch. She does for parents, too, to cook for their kids. She does all kinds of stuff. She has a great website, really fun author. This is the toddler cookbook because it is never, ever, once they're old enough to, to maybe sort of reach the counter with your help. They're old enough to be in the kitchen. And this is the toddler cookbook. And look at these wonderful pictures of children cooking and simple recipes. Here's little pita pizzas, uh, cherry tomato sauce, corn quesadillas. So fun things that very young children can do with their grownups. And you know, again, what a great bundle. Put a cookbook, a chef's hat, an apron, children's size cooking, like a child size um, mixing bowl and spoon, you know, in their own little uh, a cooking kit. How fun, right? Super fun gift. And that's Annabelle Carmel's toddler cookbook. Do check out Annabelle's other cookbook. She is for all ages. She's so fantastic. And finally, America's Test Kitchen. They're all over TV. They're, they're all over PBS, I think. Um, they've got two. They've got for the young for the young chef and the complete the complete cookbook for the young chef and the complete baking book for the young chef. Great, great, full color pictures and great, easy to read directions for your budding chefs. Oh, so many yummy things. Here's cake pops for your bakers. 
And then for your cooks, what have we got here? Let's crispy oven fried chicken, yum. And look at how clear and easy to follow. So really a nice introduction to using cookbooks that they'll take with them for the rest of their lives. And again, for an older chef, you can do a, a bigger kid hat. You can do a, a mixing bowl, mixing cups, uh, apron, towel. It just goes on and on what you could package these with. So you got the facts now about lots of great nonfiction for kids of all ages. I even went up into that upper age and I wasn't expecting to. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Presence in Print, Just the Facts. And I hope to see you again and happy shopping.